This is not going to be a long live. You, you want to start it? You can. Let's start it. Oh, <gasps> sorry. sorry. Sup, everyone. Apologies for being a little bit busy lately. Had a lot going on here in the shop, eh? Ugh. Don't the Is this light on? Yeah. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure people could hear me. The mic is not on the bottom right. I don't know where the mic is. Oh, it's right there. But this bar is in the way. I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know. So, you guys, I've been doing a lot of countertop finishes because I was down playing resin with Rhonda. And anytime we play resin with Rhonda, I end up wanting to try my hand at some countertoppy things. And lately, they've been doing uh, swipes essentially with a. How did my hands get covered with this color? They've been doing swipes with uh, rollers. And I feel like I can achieve the same thing with um, a palette knife. So I'm going to try that today. And the colors that I'm using are Color Obsession Rich Gold Shimmer. I'll tell you guys all these again when I start doing the piece. Dark Storm from Just Resin. Resin Art Blue Interference. Resin Art Interference Oyster Satin. And just resin, angel white. That's just gonna be there. That's fine. And then what's on this board already? I don't even know if you guys can see it, but that was for Gabe's. Yeah, table. it was. It was a sample piece for Gabe. And so, yes. What's up, you guys? Shannon, Jennifer, Susan. Still open to do some wine glasses. I need ideas and direction. I am always down to do wine glasses. So much fun to do. All right. So to start this, I'm just going to apply the colors down because that's, that's just the first step. You just put your color down and then you manipulate it from there. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is the dark storm color. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Just me. And then I'm going to put some of this, actually, let me turn a light on because I feel like that'll be more better. -er. The next color is the Interference Oyster, which I have more on the way, but it's a beautiful, like, pearlescent color. Isn't that sweet? So um, I am going to use some translucents, but... I don't know how that's going to work with this dark base, but it also could turn out looking pretty cool. So we'll find out together. And then this is the Interference Blue. This one happens to be from Resin Art, but I have uh, this color or this mica from a few different brands that we carry. And the great thing about the interference colors is you don't have to use that much to get a great color payoff, particularly if you are working over a dark background. And then I'm also doing a um, translucent white. This is just essentially skim milked by putting less pigment in than I would regularly need. So it just has just a hint of the paste in it. Cool, 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 cool. And then I have some opaque white that I'm just going to run through some of these areas. Promise you guys, I know it doesn't look cute right now. Just trust the process. And then also, I usually wait to add any gold, but I'm going to kind of just go for it with this one. And with the... Uh, roller swipes that I was watching being performed. It's a bigger surface area than the little palette knife I'm using, so I don't know if this is going to work, especially if it was on a larger scale. No idea, but again, we're going to find out together. 
So at this point, I'm just filling in any areas that don't have resin on them. I'm sorry I've been kind of busy lately. Never too busy for you guys. I just haven't had time to even slow down much lately. But I'm super excited for the commission that I just landed. It's going to be quite large, a multi-layer project. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be layered with resin in between each of the layers. Ugh. It's going to be brilliant. Can't wait to get started with it, honestly. All right, so I'm just going to go in and start filling any of these open bits. Actually, I may just go ahead and start doing this. So in my swipe, I'm kind of alternating how I'm positioning my trowel stick in order to get trowel stick. No, you know what I mean. My trowel to get different um, types of movement. And it's cold in Dallas. I didn't preheat my resin, so it's not moving really easily. So let me go ahead and hit it with some heat before we get too far into this and it doesn't move for me at all. So let me just heat this up. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these areas. I probably should have mixed up more resin, but I didn't grease the pan either. Y'all, I'm a rookie over here. Over here making rookie mistakes. But with the types of swiping we're about to do, I think um, it'll be fine. With the roller swipe that I've been seeing lately, people are just, nope, people. I guess people. Mitch and Rhonda count as people. Um, it kind of just picks up a wave of color and moves it to a new place on the board. And I think I'll be able to do that with, um, this palette knife. All right, we got most of the areas filled in. Trying not to muddy everything as I'm doing this. Okay. So I'm going to heat it all over one more time so that we can manipulate it more easily. All right. Let me pull my this back out. And so I'm trying to create a wave of the color. And then I'm kind of just switching directions as I go. And it seems like it works the best when you keep it on like an angle to get this like really nice ribbon of color. So I'm gonna come back this way. And if I keep it angled like this and just kind of cut through, it creates this awesome wave of color. I should, I shouldn't have gotten so crazy with this, the melding that I did before by filling in all the blank areas uh, because you can't see those waves of color quite as easily. Let me take one of these gloves off and I'll get you guys up in close for one of these pushes. Okay. Okay, so well, it is hard to do holding a camera. All right, so let me just take you guys in to show you what I did just in case you didn't see what I just did because I was holding the camera. So that really nice gradient swirled motion here is from picking up that wave of color and moving it. So this was the first one that I did.
I know this isn't the greatest like vantage point, but I'll bring you guys in for um, something more up close in a moment. I just want to get a lot of this done because I accidentally mixed up the amazing Alumalite Quick Coat instead of regular resin. So I'm on the clock. I'm on the clock with this one. Also, this little teeny tiny baby torch is not going to do it. So let me grab a heat gun. I think this is a great um, answer to wanting to swipe and being kind of nervous about it. And I don't know if that's swipey papers. You can just do this with what you have at home. I assume most people have a palette knife. So I'm going to tilt this around because I need to get some of this off. It's way too busy down here for me. It's making me uncomfortable. But I'm getting some really nice reactions and in this piece so far, and I haven't really done any manipulating for cells or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. All right. So let's tilt it and see if we like what happens. I'm going to bring out the torch again. And I'm just going to heat this part down here, the part that I want to move off. When you heat resin, you make it thinner and it's going to move more. So if you ever want something to kind of go away, just tilt it off. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel like we're going to make magic with this piece. Not into this right here, but everything else looks good enough for me to tilt back. And we'll just address that piece in a moment. I'm going to be doing more tilting as well after I manipulate it a little bit more. I won't have that much working time because it is a quick coat that I'm using. Um, and I wouldn't recommend this for any large scale pieces because time is very of the essence with this stuff. Oh, I'm squashing all of my tiny cups down here. All right. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Quartz agate. I don't know that I've seen that, but I feel like I would like it if I did see it. So I want to, I don't want to make this any busier than it is. It is very busy for me. Okay. I'm just going to put a finger in that part. So I'm just going to fix this first by catching a wave and swiping it through. That breaks up some of this very evident gold that's right here. I'm gonna take this little speck of glitter out because I don't know where that came from. And now we're gonna work on this area. I really, do I have any more blue? really want a little bit more blue represented. So I'm going to scrape the edges of this cup and see what I can make happen. So let's just catch a wave. I don't know how I went around that part, but I don't mind it. And so by dipping my palette knife into some blue resin first, I was able to kind of swipe that through and not have to um, kind of pour it out and then try to make it work along with the piece because I'm working with the piece as I'm kind of going through with this blue. And I feel like I want to separate out this bit a little bit more. 
I don't know if I just ruined something, but we'll find out together if that was a bad idea. I like the technique. I think I just messed up this piece in the beginning by kind of pre-muddying everything and making it busy. However, I feel like if this was a countertop, I would super love it. I think I'm going to tilt it around a little bit more. What tilting does is it kind of puts all of the pieces of this puzzle into moving in the same direction. So all the swipes that you put down, any extra lines that you put late in the process, tilting just makes everything kind of flow into the same kind of groove and it makes it look more cohesive, in my opinion. I am definitely not master of countertops, but I do enjoy doing them. I do enjoy trying to figure out the looks. I think I want to tilt this bit right here down, so I'm going to hit it with a little bit of extra heat. You really want to make sure you're not using too much heat because too much heat will scorch your resin and it'll end up looking a little bit like a scab for lack of a better description. It'll smell really bad. And so just avoid, avoid the scorch. I'm going to stretch out this ribbon right here by only heating it on the bottom side. And so this is still cooler. So it's stretching what we have here. And that's going to give us some really interesting cells as well that will also be stretching. I hope you can see that. Hold on. So now I'm breaking and stretching these cells right here because I only hit this bottom area with heat and left the top of it cold. I have messed up my cups once again. This looks like a very nice, busy countertop. I'm gonna get you guys down for a close up in a moment. But before that, I think I'm gonna try to fix some confusing lines. So this right here has a swoosh going this way and a swoosh going this way. And it's um, kind of that crossing of motion will not do anything for the composition of a piece. So I'm going to try to fix it. These gloves are very too big. So I'm trying to like curve back the tips of my fingers so that I don't kind of drag through the piece. All right, I like that a lot better. What do you guys think? Was that an improvement? Should I have left it alone? Should I retilt it? If I can get these gloves off, I will give you a close up. Oh, there we go. So here's our stretched out cells. So that's what those look like. Yes, the blue is dark storm. And then that translucent white rolling over. <gasps> Dadgummit. It'll be fine. I'll hit it with some heat. We'll blur that out. So that's the translucent rolling over the blue. Translucent rolling over the gold. And I think it has some pretty good 
looking effects. All of these cells that are within the gold are just because of what's in the gold. I don't know what kind of magic is in there. But you see those like bright gold kind of outlines in the cells and all these like hints of cells right here. More of those will pop up as the gold kind of settles and situates. So all this floating uh, cell that structure that's right here, that's just because of what's in that gold. The rich gold from Color Obsession is what does that. I think I have like eight um, in stock right now and more on the way. And these, you can kind of see it, the cells. I usually don't put that much um, gold in a piece in the beginning because it will take over. Kind of looks like it did on this piece, but I still like it. Very interested to know y'all's thoughts. Do I love it when there's cells and then you can look through it and it's like a shimmer that's under it? And this will change a lot as it settles. Oh my goodness, this looks like a beach. This may be the best wave I've ever done. If I could just take this little caption, just. Ooh, so it looks like a lot is going on here, but like over on the side, you can see that there are cells. When you're directly over it, it's kind of hard to see. Agreed, Sue. So whenever I do a resin piece, my favorite part of doing resin art is that every time you look at it, you can find something that's your new favorite part. Or maybe that's just me. Could be just me. It would make sense if it was just me. Let me pull out all the little Bowie hairs. If you ever buy a piece of artwork from me, just know that there's Bowie DNA or probably even some of my own deeply embedded under many layers of resin. So I was going to show you guys uh, this brand new from Color Passion. It's a mica powder spritzer. And so I would only recommend doing this in... Um, not inside your house unless you just want glitter everywhere. Because what this is going to do is, uh, Evelyn, it was titanium. Thank you for listing all the colors. When I, let me just do this not over here. Let's do this over the trash can. So I haven't opened this yet, but okay. Oh, it's got a got a wrap on it because it's brand new. Let me just get that off. Sorry, you guys have to just look at my garbage. Okay, here we go. Ready? So it does that. And it is, it's like gold dust from Stone Coat, but it's in a poop. So if you wanted to, you could take this and add it over your piece like I just accidentally did. So it'll look like that. So let's put it, no, may as well put it here because there's already a little bit of it there. So let's just see what happens. So now there's kind of like you can't see it, but then you can see it. Kind of just a floating dust of gold. If you guys have watched any of our very old, very, very old first generation, back when I used to type down all the instructions down at the bottom, if you have seen any of those videos, we used to like blow mica over the top of a piece and then hit it with heat to get it to disperse. This is the same thing without having to kind of inhale micas. Well, you should probably still wear a respirator when using this, but um, yeah, the 
particles don't travel that far. You guys saw me spritz it sideways over the piece and it really, it only went to here. So the particles are heavy enough to not kind of go everywhere, but I would still watch your application when using this. I hope you guys give it a shot. I will be having a Black Friday sale um, probably before Black Friday. Where did I put my finger? Oh, right there. Here's where I put my finger. How fun is that stretch cell? Is that earth? Yes, this is earth as told by me and some resin. Also love the name. All right, you guys, this gold is super taking over, but I think it looks super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Look at all that um, texture that's in the gold. That's from just the gold. That I didn't do any like spritzes of alcohol. That's not mixed with anything. All that awesome looking motion is just from the rich gold shimmer from Color Obsession. Available on my website, artistoldeath.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have to go get ready for a last minute, something that I forgot I had to do. Um, just as a refresher, you can get all these colors on my website, artistoldeath.com. Color Passion Mica Powder Crystal Gold is there. Yes, she did. She got it right. Um, this is Rich Gold Shimmer from Color Obsession. Uh, this is Dark Storm from Just Resin. The, this, the lighter blue, is actually Interference Blue from Resin Art, but I have it from many different brands on the website. The white is Just Resin Titanium. This silver looking color is actually the Interference Oyster from Resin Art over black. And the Rich Gold Shimmer, I can't remember if I said that or not. I hope you guys give it a shot. Let me know what you think about everything. Please, if you have a moment, interact with my uh, videos. Leave me a thumbs up, a comment. It really helps our channel to grow. And I need you guys. Bowie said, P -p 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 please help us and share our videos. You guys remember in Big Daddy when he did that? Anyways, that's my precious boy. Isn't he so precious? He wants me a Pez tummy. All right, you guys. Have an awesome evening. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Over the weekend, I'll be posting because I have a lot of work to do on the perfect commission that I'm going to be doing. But anyways, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test so you don't have to. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. But till then, um, have an awesome day. See you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. No, oh, I didn't show you my other. She looks so innocent sometimes. Anyways, night y'all. Bye.